So here we want to derive the function uh, square root of x times sine of x, and we're, we're going to again be using the product rule. Okay. <clears throat> so our function, I have it labeled as f of x. Uh, sometimes you're going to see that. It's not always going to be some other letter that you have up here. Uh, so we're going to break it down in parts. So I'm not going to be writing the f and g here. Let's see if we can practice without that now. So I want to write my first f prime of x. Well, f prime of x is going to be equal to the first part here, square root of x, times the derivative of the second, which the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x, plus the second part, right here, the second part, sine of x, times the derivative of the first part. Now, we know the square root of x is equal to x to the 1 half power. So the derivative of that would be 1 half x to the negative 1 half power. Okay, so we can simplify this up a little. F prime of x equals, well, let's go square root of x cosine of x plus, I'm going to leave the sine x in the numerator over the 2 is down here. Now, x to the negative 1 half power, the negative brings it down to the denominator, right? The negative x brings it down to the denominator, and the 1 half power is the same as square root. So we're left with the square root of x down here. Uh, if you found this video informative, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notified when more videos are uploaded. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.